Well, hello, Sword of Allah. So you're famous now, hmm? Everybody's looking at your videos. Everybody's making videos about you. And I know you're online to see them. Of course you wouldn't miss out opening up YouTube and seeing what people are saying about you. So I want to say something too. Congratulations for having doubts about Islam. You know, you seem to be overly concerned in your videos about losing your cookies. Hmm? Islam doesn't teach that we inherit a sinful nature, but the Holy Bible says we do. I suggest that you get back to your Bible and read it, or if you don't have one, get one. And the other thing is, is that we have answers for you where Islam doesn't. So I invite you again to come to our room in Pal Talk and join our room anytime you like. You can change your nick. You don't have to say who you are. You can just come and sit and listen. So let's see some of the things that are bothering you here. For all of this stuff, have faith in this heaven that flows with rivers of milk and honey uh -huh. with, 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 with virgins and servants and boys, yeah I, I, I don't know it, mm -hmm. I don't know either I don't know I mean, you know, I'm told that, you know, I'm supposed to be submissive to this God mm. what, what the hell kind of person creates things just to serve it to yeah. be its slaves. Yeah. We're the slaves of Allah. Yeah. For what? Why, why? Yeah, for what? Why would we be slaves? You know, in the Bible, we're taught that we're children of God and that He loves us. You know, slave of Allah, because you have some questions about Muhammad and the teachings that he brought to the Muslims you might take this opportunity while you're you know incognito to do some more investigating about what Islam really teaches because Muhammad the self-proclaimed prophet made many claims about himself he and he said for you to do things but he did the opposite you know, as kids, we learn by example. We learn by, you know, watching our parents and how they behave. And then we copy them somewhat. But Muhammad was a guy that said, Do as I say, don't do as I do. And the Hadith will prove that to you. Take a good look to see who the man is. Because you can know him by his fruit, we're told in the Bible. The Hadith exposed Muhammad for many sins, including breaking God's holy Ten Commandments. Can there be anything worse than that? He broke all of the commandments which our God gave us, and he detests those sins, but Muhammad, Muhammad did them. And from Hadith, we learn that Muhammad not only was a pedophile, but he was a murderer, a thief, a blasphemer, a slaver, a rapist, a liar, and, a, and an adulterer. And not only that, there's questionable things as well in regards to bestiality and necrophilia. So who is Muhammad? It's time for you to actually dig deeper, my friend. So in order to know him, you have to read his hadith and see what he did because Muhammad was a highly superstitious guy and believed in very weird teachings and he taught his followers the same. He said, he said that dice are evil. He said that, um, he said that uh, angels won't enter the home that has a dog in it. 
He said gins float around the ceilings of your home. He kissed a black stone. He was afraid of a strong wind. He placed a green leaf on the graves of the dead in hopes that it would lessen their pain. He believed in the power of the evil eye. He was superstitious about even numbers and he avoided them. He told you to wipe your butt, sword, with an uneven number of stones. An uneven number? Hmm? He said for you to spit on the side of your bed if you have a bad dream. He said for you to enter your bathroom with your left foot first. He snorted water up his nose to wash out Satan. Every day, Satan slept in his nose and he taught his followers the same. He ordered that black dogs are to be killed because they're evil. He said to eat a date every day to keep evil spirits away. He was afraid of knots. Knots? Yeah, it's in the Quran even. He said the brain of a donkey means that that donkey has seen a Satan. Now, let's not forget, he also said <laughs> that house snakes are really converted jinn. They were jinn and they converted into becoming snakes and they accepted Islam and you're not to kill them. You're only to order those house snakes to get out of your house three times and if they don't, then you can kill them. You know, Sword, I think you're smarter than this. These are only a few of the few of the strange teachings of this guy named Muhammad. There's many more. And you need to open your eyes and start studying. So I'm glad you're off. I'm glad you're off, really. And I hope that you contemplate the real Muhammad for a change. And think deeply that's what you want to be involved with because you're going to be living a lie and by the way sword I think you look much more handsome without all that Arabic gear on okay I've said my piece and I hope you see I hope to see you in the room in our room anytime you like take care